guys class with white was again we are uh, we are live watching this mega knight hog deck which is the really most popular deck of 2017 and let's see how it works in 2021 so let's get in some live matches here we have first match against golem i have no idea mm, how to how we can beat this deck golem deck Maybe in single, the Inferno Dragon will get value. But if the opponent needles the Inferno Dragon, it will be really bad for us. The Golem gets the tower down to almost 2000 HP, 2100. And the opponent has already activated the King Tower with Hog Rider. Here we go with a smart push of Alright and bats and the and the opponent chokes the nado due to which the bats took the tower down to 1400 HP. I think this will be definitely a two tower game. Yeah, because golem will easily take your tower in double elixir. Doesn't matter how much better you defend, the golem player will always take one tower and. They have lightning which is super annoying for us and they will just maybe baby dragon or maybe lightning and they will just lightning and the inferno dragon cannot survive to lightning and the baby dragon splash and here I think we will maybe uh, if we yeah bandit was very crucial for that point Still the Dark Prince charged. Let's see whether it can do any type of. If the Hog Rider gets one hit, maybe we need to fireball here, but we need to defend at the same time also. We drop the Mega Knight first. We have Elixir for fireball. Will you hit? Yeah. It's really close. We need to use Bandit first. The baby dragon is locked onto the tower. We gave the baby dragon lock, and we need to zap over here. And we need to zap. And there was a great comeback from our side. We are still down in damage. We just start with a hog rider from the back. May we just track with the mega knight. I think maybe. He will just nado it to the king tower. Um, can we zap? If we zap, it might be a good one. Um, I think the golem player will drop golem in the middle, which he do. We need to zap here. We need to drop the goblin gang so that it distracts the dark ones. We need something. We need something here for the dark ones. Let's see what we drop. Night. It will be a good play. May we go for the 3 crown here at this point. If the opponent is standing on the right side, we can go to the left side. The very unfortunate timing for our bats because uh, the opponent's nado came at the same time. And the opponent just dropped golem in the middle. The inferno again. Trying to make the golem as uh, before the golem reaches to the tower, it was a kind of successful defense, I would say. We have to drop Mega Knight in the center, or maybe we are going for the king tower. Let's see how can this be. If we maybe we can come back with the Mega Knight jump. No. Please. Still lost. What we will say? This stupid is beaming with a hundred O matchup here. Mega Knight Hog is really hard to use. Here we are in another game. No matter. May we come back strong. Let's see, we start up with the bats from the back. We are starting with the hog rider from the back. 
I think the opponent will tornado with the pink tower. It was the play. Oh, the opponent blocked with a knight. Uh, we are playing against Splashyard. I think maybe Splashyard can. Um, no, maybe Mega Knight Hog Rider can defeat Splashyard. Because I am thinking maybe Mega Knight Hog Rider has a slight matchup uh, because of the Goblin Gang and Bats. Uh, Graveyard. Uh, are a very good counter to Grievered and he has Tombstone which is really good for us Tombstone is really good for us because if the, if the opponent had Bomb Tower uh, the Bomb Tower would definitely shut down uh, the all the Hog Rider pieces and the good Graveyard on the opponent's part to distract the Mega Knight and that's a good opportunity for us to go in Hog Rider as the opponent was low in elixir let's see how we can um, i think we will pressure with a bandit because he don't have proper answers in his hand we go with the hog rider and bat he will definitely nado it let's see where is nado and bandit oh yeah no bandit didn't got a hit on the tower or else the tower would have down to 2700 something Mm. Yeah, the opponent is really passive in single elixir. We just fireball the tombstone, which is really good play, I guess. We just back. I think we will save Inferno Dragon for this David Dragon, which is really crucial play. This is very bad graveyard on the opponent's part, I would say. And the opponent is really aggressive. So much aggressive. I don't think he will he will be saved after this commitment. We just have we will go with the hog rider because the opponent had used tornado. We just zap and and the opponent still commits one nado and we just got a hog rider hit which is very crucial for the upcoming times. I think yeah we just Using bats and we just uh, dropped Inferno Dragon from the back and Baby Dragon came and the opponent is just freely committing graveyards which I think uh, isn't that much good of a play. The, unfortunately the Baby Dragon flashed onto the Inferno Dragon and took out the whole Inferno Dragon. I think uh, we will go again with uh, bats from the back or maybe Inferno Dragon from the back and this time we will go Mega Knight on the Graveyard no on the Ice Wizard we will go this time let's see we want to go Hog Rider we did not go with Hog Rider it's amazing but how the graveyard player isn't able to be punished he just committing nine elixir straight on offense just graveyard poison on offense he is committing how the heck he is isn't punished here i think the graveyard is really countering the mega knight of the way because the opponent is freely committing graveyard poison on offense and he isn't getting punished here how is it possible? The graveyard deck is so strong defense the graveyard deck has. Yeah, really good push coming. This time the graveyard No. At all hit the tombstone as well. May we get one hit for the victory? Can we get one hit? Let's see where to defend. We have to pressure with the hog or else we can't win. We have to pressure with the hog. We need to firewall and zap. We need to firewall. We need to firewall. Can we zap in defense? We should zap in defense. Oh, GG's man. Really good game. Really close game for us. And we hit a super hard counter with just 108 HP on left on our tower. See you in next game. Let's see, we are up against Misa.
what the opponent is playing the opponent starts with the tombstone uh, it is looking i will guess it's lava hound yeah it's lava balloon let's see how we can um, break through against lava there. Uh, we don't have fireball in hand the skeleton dragons wow this is a tower trade system the opponent just committed skeleton dragons and fireball and the inferno dragon and i think we will still stand strong in this if we go hog rider or maybe bandit in attack if the opponent doesn't able to drop the tombstone maybe it is free crown for us earlier wow just 702 hp left on opponent's king tower me we can be able to three crown i think yes this time let's see what happens it was very interesting part to watch and uh, this is a good really solid strong fireball value we got there we just took out the tombstone and we just took out the skeleton dragons and we know his cycle doesn't have tombstone and the bandit does it and we got a three crown really really quick three crown it was the opponent just committed skeleton dragons on offense with a fireball we just go opposite lane and we just took their tower what a great interaction there we are in a next match but that lava hound match was really awesome really that was really good match we are up against gallo loves tilt starts with a mega minion from the back we are gonna respond with a bandit in the opposite lane and this deck looks like lava loon again because lava hound deck consists of mega minion and they have barbarians also in their deck no this is i think this is graveyard because yeah i think this is definitely graveyard don't know what deck what kind of variation they are playing but i really think that this is graveyard the inferno dragon is getting really good value it takes out musketeer first and it will take the bowler also uh, i think maybe giant graveyard they are playing the opponent yeah oh we just this is really hard when it hits double for us the inferno dragon will take care of the mega minion the inferno dragon just survives with one hp will definitely go with something we just go with a bandit i think we will spawn we just forced out the musketeer and just got two solid bandit hits on the tower i think we will pressure with the hog maybe prediction fireball there no we just uh, no we just play safe i think we'll make a knight on this from the back i think that will be a good play yeah we we'll just make a knight the opponent drops bowler which is really smart play i think the opponent need to use arrows which he uses and the mega knight will get one hit and the inferno dragon will melt down the tower wow we just pull off an amazing victory again we can easily mega knight on this barbarian stuff will you mega knight on this barbarians and there's nothing gallo luck still can do and i think if if gallo ignores this it is a three crown what a insane match that was it has pull out with another victory see you in next match guys we just reached 6600 and trophies and we just hit top 200 global with the meganite hog rider deck which is played by a really classy player because 
यू कैन नॉट प्ले मैगनाइट हॉग राइडर विथ एट सच ए हाई लेवल विथ सच सो मेनी काउंटर्स अवेलेबल